it's uh, DDMX here just going to do a quick tutorial uh, in Blender on how to model a ramp uh, and what I feel is probably the quickest way to do it so A X erase everything add curve well first hit 3 numpad 3 to go into uh, side view add curve bezier curve okay control spacebar enable disable I hate that thing alright right now we have a curve but it's only 2D and it's not in the dimension we want it in so 7 top view and then R minus 90 and then 1 front view R 90 and then if you go back into your side view we have a curve in the uh, dimension or you know the the 2D dimension, the plane that we want it. All right, uh, view, transform orientation. Uh, no, that's not what we want. Object, transform properties. Add a cube. Okay, Z to go into wireframe. And I just use this for dimensions. So we want a ramp that's eight feet tall. Uh, Z direction. That's rotation. Z direction scale. 8 feet tall and if it's 8 feet tall we're going to shoot for 24 feet long no that's way too long let's go for 16 yeah 16 this will give us a nice uh, 2 to 1 ratio for a ramp um, that's usually a good you know a good thing to shoot for I guess when you're building a jump you don't want to kick too much tab edit mode Actually, before we even do this, decide on what, what angle you want your ramp to be. So I'm just going to insert a plane real quick. Come over here to your rotation on the x-axis. Let's just make this, uh, let's say, 40 degree. So 40 degree launch angle. Put this guy up here just for reference. I wouldn't go any higher than 60. 60 kicks. G moves. First point. R rotates. Okay, your next point up here, this is just like curves in uh, in uh, Photoshop. Hold control and click. Put another point, hold control and click. One more point. Put this guy so it's zero rotation. This guy, kind of bring it. S will size it. Size this guy up a little bit. Maybe bring this guy out. G, Y grabs in the y direction and moves gy again see what we look like that looks pretty good don't it looks good to me all right now i'm not sure if this really does anything select all with a come over here curve tool subdivide a couple times tab object mode then uh, alt c convert to mesh all right now we got a mesh cool now this is the mesh we're going to use for the actual model of the ramp so I'm going to set this, uh, the limits for the remove doubles to, let's try 0.75, remove double. That's pretty, pretty undetailed enough. So it won't uh, give the game too much problem and it looks nice too, so. Alright, that is that. And uh, what we'll do next is we will select all, extrude E in the Z direction. Now, size it with S in the Z direction a couple times. Get it nice and flat. Grab it. Shove it back up in the Z direction. Alright, now put the threshold down to like point, um, point 0.05, I guess. Select all. Remove doubles. I get rid of these guys. That was stupid. Don't do that. If you hold Alt and click, it'll select the string. Throw these guys down a little bit in the Z direction. Alright. Select these guys. Alt M. Merge at center. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, next thing you want to do, or next thing I would do, I guess, is uh, extrude this entire thing. So, all, go into top view. E extrude the region X direction. 
um, I don't know, four feet, something like that. Control tab, faces, actually, control tab, edges, hold alt, click on this string, and then uh, it didn't grab, yeah, it did. Control E, mark seam, same thing over here. Control E, mark seam, same thing down here. Control E, mark seam. Control E, mark seam, mark this guy. Mark this guy, mark this guy, mark this guy, and uh, mark this guy too. Control tab, faces, click a bottom face, control L, X, faces. Okay, so now as you can see, H to hide that guy. Now as you can see, we just got a ramp. Just a normal box ramp, you can delete this guy, don't need that. Alright, now we'll have to worry about our center point, so I find it easiest sometimes just come into edit mode. The pink point's your center point. Throw it somewhere, I don't know, the beginning of the ramp. And, uh, where'd it go? Oh, way down there. And just shove it, yeah, something like that, that looks good. And then, uh, so this is pretty much our basic ramp. You can unwrap, unwrap that and uh, do awesome things to it. Set smooth, modifier, edge split, apply. That just uh, sets this part smooth, it splits this edge, gets everything else smooth, okay. Click on the top face, control L. Now, shift D, click, P, Selected. Okay, so now we have a new face, just the top of the ramp. Hit 7, grab it in the X. This is what you're going to use for your collision. So, you don't have to do this part for now. If you send it to me, I will add the collision for you because I haven't finished the app to the point where I can put it in the EXE file. So, uh, but if you want to do this part for me, then, well, that's cool too. K loop cut. Just put a ton of loops in there. You can do the really this part. You can do any way you want. Set your limit to uh, 0.6. I found was pretty good. And then uh, W subdivide W subdivide W subdivide. Hopefully you guys' computers can handle this. I did that wrong. Whoops. One more try. Alright, make sure you have all your faces selected, then subdivide multiple times. Remove doubles, maybe subdivide again, remove doubles, okay, cool. So now, not, not one single vertice is within 0.6 feet of another vertice. So this is what you're going to use to write your collision file, and that's what my program does. It puts a sphere at each vertice, and... Uh, Writes a collision file like that. So right now we have 289 spheres. We can even bump that up if you want. So W subdivide 1,052. I, fi I figured like right around the six to eight, six to eight hundred mark is good. So let's let's put this at 0.4 and see 300. Yeah, that's yeah. Let's try 0.25. Oh, higher than that. Point three five. Mm, point three. What the? Point three. Yeah, we'll just go point three five. All right, four hundred and thirty-two vertices. Now, what you're gonna do? This center point. Drag it back over here so it kind of lays on top. You know where it's where the ramp's gonna be. These spheres. I found work best at about a radius of one for a ramp. So, what you're going to want to do is, while you're still in edit mode, you don't want to do it in here because it moves to the center point. You want the center point to stay the same. In edit mode, drag it down about one because as you're coming onto the ramp, you don't want to smack into the first space. You want to drive onto it gradually. Um, GZ minus one. And then, as you notice, it's one here, but it kind of tapers up. So, if you size it, in the Y direction, a tad holding shift, GY, it looks like it's about even all the way through. So that's that's what you want for your collision file. Now these spheres are going to be radius 1, so 
uh, you know, you kind of look at here, it'll be radius 1 all the way around. So that's kind of what you're going to have. And that's pretty much your ramp. You export this guy and put it in game with the texture, and then you export this guy and send it to me, and I'll write a collision file for it. And that's pretty much the quickest way I found to make a ramp.